and R or pronoun R every pony. This says Brony Dan. It's not original, but hey, you try coming up with reality these days. You know, for as much as people complained about season eight, the one shining moment that many people seemed to enjoy were the student six. And I'll admit it right now, I'm one of those people because, like many different things, I love seeing the interactions of all these different creatures. And I am glad to know that they were not just a one season deal. They are back once again for season nine with this week's episode, Uprooted. We open on quite a strange series of events as the student six are being tortured by their worst fears. Do you ever think some days Freddy Krueger just thinks, you know what, I'm not gonna kill these bitches, I'm just gonna torture them psychologically and then see them kill themselves. It's slower, but it's much more interesting. So, yeah, this is all a shared dream, as they're all summoned by the spirit of the Tree of Harmony. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. But the tree couldn't have called you. It's gone. Sombra destroyed it. <gasps> How could this happen? Uh, we just said, Gallus. Remember? It, it was Sombra? Uh, hello? So the student six decide to try and commemorate the Tree of Harmony, so they go off to get permission from their separate kingdoms for them to return to Ponyville. Okay, who did you kill? Wait, wait! How are there baby changelings? I thought changeling hatchlings were only produced by the Queen, and without Chrysalis? How are they there? Well, whatever. They get their permission and... Sandbar, where's the tree? I got rid of it. I planted a new tree. This cave was supposed to stay exactly the same so future creatures could come visit and experience the memory of the tree. Sorry, every creature. I thought I was helping. Sandbar, if people threw a hissy fit over the removal of a bench that the beetle sat in in a pub, how do you think the public would react knowing that you have just removed the remnants of one of Equestria's most famous and powerful sources of magic? But unfortunately, none of the student six can agree on how to best celebrate the tree. Maybe friends listen to each other and make plan together? Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be simple. Yeah, we're going back to redoing old episode tropes. This time, it's Castle Sweet Castle, where they all have different ideas and can't agree on how it should be done. That's probably why I'm finding anything difficult to really say or joke about this episode, because it's already been done in a better episode. The only thing I guess I can talk about is each individual effort, like Gallus wanting to be Grunkle Stan. Come on, Grandpa Grub has a fez on. You're seriously telling me you can't see the connection? Smolder wanting to make a statue, Ocellus going full hippie while Silverstream adds to that by taking acid. These are the emotions its loss made me feel, dancing with the representations of elements of harmony. I'm tripping balls right now. It would seem that I'm tripping too. Oh God, I'm tripping balls. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. So of course it all goes wrong, leaving Yona to be the voice of reason. No, seriously. Yona mean even though tree not here here, tree here in hearts. Yeah, yeah, we already had this talk in the last episode. Just because you're doing it with different characters, that doesn't make it any more original. Wow, I can't believe we just got schooled by a yak. Yaks know things not forever. That's why Smash and Rebuilt. Am I the only one who thinks that that kind of sounds like some kind of Buddhist philosophy? Hey, if there's anyone out there who actually practices it, let me know. My only exposure to the religion was Planet of the Spiders and Kinder. I'm open to new ideas. So Yona manages to bring the original branches back and... We celebrate our friendship. We celebrate the tree. Oh, hey, it's our first song of the season. Honestly, I'm not that fussed on it. It just kind of sounds a bit average. 
And it's so hard to ignore how much they're taking from Castle Sweet Castle at this point. Even going so far as having literally the same visual aid as they build whatever it is they're building, which it turns out to be a clubhouse. <laughs> Refusing to have that song played on my channel. It's bad enough Kingdom Hearts 3 had to play the whole sodding thing. So the castle of the two sisters is now even more destroyed thanks to this monstrosity as the spirit of the tree thanks the student six and that's really the end. Oh, this episode doesn't really do it for me. I mean, it's not terrible by any means, it just felt a bit stale. Like I said, it's just Castle Sweet Castle told with the student six and it's kind of hard to separate the two in order to enjoy it. I like how Yona was the voice of reason for the group in this episode, but that's maybe because she's my favourite of the six. There really isn't any more that I can say for this episode except it exists if you want to see it. Fine, just don't go in with any kind of big expectations. It's harmless, but it doesn't generate any kind of strong emotion. Which for some is probably worse than if it was just bad. At least then you'd have something to talk about. Hi. <sighs> well, this is Brony Dan saying... Just go watch Castle Sweet Castle. At least that song's melody was memorable. <laughs>